Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make the summer bead earrings and a matching summer bracelet. We're going to start off with the earrings, so I'll show you the supplies that I've used for that. I've got four different types of beads and my earring parts, and of course you'll need a needle and a clear thread as well. We're going to add a bead stopper first. This is something we'll take out later on in our project. There are several tutorials online on how to add a bead stopper. Get three white beads and put them through your needle and push them right down next to our blue bead. You'll have three beads like this, so separate the top two, like I'm doing here, and then you'll put your needle through this white bead here. Ignore the blue bead. Then pull your needle through and it will form this little triangle shape right here. Okay, so now grab your next colour. Mine is pink and I'm just going to get one pink bead and put it through that top white bead on the edge right there like so. I'm going to pull my needle through and this puts my pink bead in place. Next, we're going to get another pink bead and with this one, we're going to put it through the pink bead that we've just put in, like this from the top. So what we're doing for now is just building a row of our beads. Here, I'm getting my next pink bead and what I'll do is put it through the top pink bead like this. And now I'm going to add my yellow, so I'm going to get my yellow bead and through this pink bead I'll pull my needle through and the yellow bead will be on top like so. Grab your next yellow bead and put the needle through the existing yellow bead and pull that through as well. So as you can see there's a nice row being formed. And for the rest of the pattern all I'm going to do is get my white, pink and yellow beads and keep doing what I've just done. So I've reached a point where I want to add my white beads again and I've just done that now. Everything that I'm using in this video I'll note down in the description box of this video so please do check that out. You can use as many colours as you want, you can use one colour, you can use two colours or three colours like I have. It's just really up to you on how creative you want to be with your summer beaded jewellery set. Okay, so you can make your earrings as long as you like, but for me, I'm going to add these yellow beads as my last set, uh, and then I'll show you how to add the top and bottom beads as well. So here I'm adding my last yellow bead for the row. You can see there's a little pattern of small triangles. Okay, so now you're going to get your needle and go through the top bead here without any beads in your thread. We just want to get to the top so we can add our three yellow beads here. So I've got three beads on my needle and I'm going to put my needle through this yellow bead and this pink bead. And then I'll pull my needle through. And then when I pull it through, you'll see it forms a nice little arch with those three beads. Now I'm going to grab my three pink beads. And then very similar to what I've just done, I'm going to put them through my thread like so and then go through the pink and white beads here. And then I'll pull that through. 
and you can see the shape is now really starting to come together. Now get your three white beads and then we'll just put our needle through the white bead and the yellow bead here and pull that through. So now we're just going to keep repeating this for the rest of the rows and I'll let you know what we do when we get to the white beads at the very start. So when you get to the white beads, what you're going to do is grab three white beads and push them down your thread like this. And then you'll get your needle and go through these two white beads here. Ignore the blue bead, we are going to take that out. So we, I've just put my needle through the two white beads here. Okay, so now with my needle, I'm going to take that blue bead that I loosely added on out. So I'm just going to tug on the thread and take that right out. You'll have some extra thread left, so please keep this to one side for now. I'm going to add my earring parts on, so get two gold beads, your earring part, then two gold beads again. And with my needle, I'm going to go through these two white beads right here like so and when I pull on that the earring part should fall right into place. And I'm just going to go through that once again to make sure it's securely in place. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to weave through the beads so I'm next to the other thread that we took the blue bead out from. When these two threads are next to each other, what we're going to do is tie two knots like this. After you've tied the knots, what you can do is cut the excess thread off, but I'm just going to leave it to the side for now so I can weave in and out of my work later. And what I'm going to do with a thread I already have is just do the same thing I'm going to do and weave in and out through the beads. This is to make sure the threads won't come apart or the beads won't come apart and everything is sitting nicely in place. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to now cut this one off. And there you have it, our earrings are now done, so I'm going to move on and show you how to make this beautiful matching bracelet. You will need a needle and some clear thread, and then also you'll need four different bead colours of your choice and your bracelet closures as well. To start I'm going to use this blue stopper bead, I'm going to loosely secure it in place so I can take it out at a later point. This is just to make sure the beads we add don't slide out. I'm going to get three white beads and put them on my thread like this and then I'm going to separate the top two and with my needle I'm going to go through this one white bead here. This is going to form a nice little triangle shape for the start of our bracelet. And there you have it, our nice little triangle. So what we're ready to do now is add our second colour. Mine is pink, so I'm going to grab a pink bead. 
and with my needle I'm going to go through the top white bead here and pull that through. I'll grab another pink bead and put my needle through the pink bead I just added and pull that through. And I'll grab another pink bead and put that through the top pink bead here like so. This forms my little triangle of pink beads. We're now ready to add our next colour, so I'm going to add yellow and I'll put my needle through the bottom last pink bead here and then grab another yellow bead and put my needle through the top yellow bead here and then grab my final yellow bead and put it through the bottom yellow bead right here. And what I've just done, I'm going to keep repeating that so I'm now ready to add my white again, so I'm going to get white with my earrings I decided to make a bracelet but you can go a step further and you can even make a necklace or an anklet. You just need to make the length of this longer and according to your ankles, wrist or necklace size. As I add more it's coming along very nicely so at this point we're just going to do one thin row of these beads and later on in the video I'll show you how to add the top and bottom beads which form the actual pattern. So keep going as you are according to the length you want and then once you have the desired length like my bracelet here I'll show you the next steps. My final bead was yellow so I'm going to grab a yellow bead and pull that through like so and then I'll grab another yellow bead to form my little triangle like so. At this point we're going to add the loop for our closure, so get four gold beads on your needle and push them down the thread like this and then get your needle and go through both of the yellow beads here. And I'm going to go through it one more time to secure it in place. When you get to this point here, get your needle and put it through the two yellow beads and pull that through. And then again, go down from the pink bead to the yellow bead and pull that through. Now go through this bottom yellow bead at the start here and pull your needle through. We're now in a perfect place to add our nice little arches. So on your needle, go ahead and get three yellow beads and put your needle through this yellow bead and the pink bead at the same time. And then pull that through. And there we go. You've got a nice little arch there. So if you can, you can play around with it to push it in place. But I'm just going to go ahead and add the pink. So with the pink beads, go through the pink and the white just like we did with the yellow and pull that through. So I'm just playing around a bit here to move the beads in place. Okay, so now we're going to add our white beads. So get your three white beads and put the needle through the white and the yellow. And then pull that through. 
So what we're going to do is just keep adding our three beads on the top and the bottom according to which colour we're on. So I'm back to doing my yellow and I'm going to do that for the rest of my bracelet. I'm curious to know what colours everyone else will use so please leave a comment in the comment box below to let me know what your favourite colour combinations are and maybe in future videos I might just get some inspiration from you guys and use those colour combinations. I like all my work to be quite pastely light shades so I often go for the lighter colours. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please do leave a like on the video and leave a comment to let me know um, how you find my tutorials and make sure to subscribe to my channel. All your support is very much appreciated. I'm going to stop talking for a bit so you can see how I'm adding these beads on. I'll see you towards the end of the video where I show you how to add the closures. Okay, so I've added my arches and now we're back to the other side of the bracelet where our blue bead was. Now at this point we're going to add another loop to add our closure bits in, so get four gold beads on your needle and push them down like this and then get your needle and go through the two white beads here. Ignore the blue bead, we're not going through the blue bead, we're about to take that out shortly. So I'm just going through the two white beads and I'm going to pull my needle through. And then I'm going to go through the gold beads again to make sure that's securely in place. So now I'm going to go through the two white beads again, like this, and pull my needle through. Before I take the blue bead out, I'm just going to use my needle to go through the pink beads. So here I'm going to go through this pink bead in the middle here and pull my needle through. Okay, now it's safe to take our blue bead out. So I'm just going to tug on the thread that's holding it in place and then just pull that bead right off. You will have clear thread left over from taking that blue bead out, but just please move that thread to the side because at a later point we're going to use it to weave in and out of our work as well. So with the thread I currently have, I'm just going to go through my beads to secure it in place. And then when I'm happy, I'm going to tie a little knot. So here you can see I'm tying a knot.
Right, I'm happy with this so far, so I'm going to stop right here with this thread. And now the other thread, I'm just going to put it through my needle like this. And I'm going to do a very similar thing where I'm going to weave in and out through my beads. And when you're happy with your work, with the excess threads, you can just go ahead and cut those off. Let's go ahead and add our closures on. So I've got my two little jump rings. I'm gonna use one jump ring to add the lobster clasp and one jump ring to add the extension chain. Here I'm just opening my jump ring, putting it through my lobster clasp and I'm going to add it to one of the loops we created, like so, and close that jump ring. And on the other end I'm going to get the jump ring with the extension chain. I've added a cute little pink bead here for an extra touch. So open your jump ring and then put that through the loop we have on the other end. And then close your jump ring. And there you have it, our cute summer bracelet is now complete. I absolutely love the colours on this and I can't wait to wear it in summer. I think the earrings and bracelet combination with a nice dress is going to look amazing. So guys, thank you very much for watching this tutorial on how to make matching bracelet and earrings. I hope you've enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be coming back with more of these beautiful jewellery tutorials.